In the construction industry, hands and fingers are the body parts most exposed to injuries. Numbers show that around half of all accidents on site involve hands and fingers. These accidents may not be fatal, but can have serious consequences on your quality of daily life. When you think about it, your hand is actually your most commonly used tool as 90% of your daily activities involves using your hands. There are many hazards you have to pay attention to when working on site, such as crushing, rotating parts, cutting, corrosive materials. Let's have a look at how we can minimize the risks of hand and finger accidents. Always select the right tool for the job. This should be determined when planning the job, depending on the activity. Any risks in using the tools should be identified and the mitigations planned. What you shouldn't do. Do not substitute the tool you actually need with a wrong alternative just because it's available nearby. What you should do. Use tools intended for the job and always check if the tool is in good condition before starting the work. Pinch points are situations where there is a risk of getting your hand or fingers caught or squeezed. What you shouldn't do. Do not insert your hands or fingers in between the moving objects like pipe joint or moving machine parts. What you should do. Check that surfaces are clear before starting operations. Use dedicated tools such as the finger saver and wrenches of the correct size. Similar hazards are present also when performing mooring operations. Installing or adjusting the eyes of the mooring ropes on the bollards can easily result in the hands or fingers being stuck. What you shouldn't do. While holding the eye, never put your hands in between the bollard and the eye of the mooring line. Never put your hands too close to the bollard. Do not underestimate dynamic vessel movements and pulling forces of the rope and do not attend mooring operations alone. What you should do. Mooring ropes only to be handled by experienced and trained personnel. Use radio communication between the vessels. Ensure good maintenance of your mooring equipment, including bollards and ropes and wires. When working with rebars, mind your hands. You can easily get your hands trapped or potentially lose them. What you shouldn't do. Do not guide rebar sections by hand into confined formwork spaces. Do not ignore tension of suspended loads. What you should do. Always keep hands free of any potential guillotine situations. Use push-pull sticks for direct handling. Use technical aids and remote controlled equipment to lift, handle and transport materials when possible they generally prevent fingers to be pinched. What you shouldn't do. Do not select by hand rebars from bundles for cutting. Do not manually drag and pull rebars through cutting machine. What you should do. Use crane to lift bundles directly on cutting machine feed. Use box cutter machine rollers to feed rebar for cutting. When engaged in hooking, unhooking, or guiding the load. Keep clear from the load fall zone. Getting trapped in between suspended or moving load can easily cause serious damage to hands or fingers. What you shouldn't do. Do not put your hands directly under or in between suspended or moving load. Do not use your hands to guide the load in place. What you should do. Keep clear from suspended or moving load. Use tagline or push-pull sticks to control suspended load from a safe distance. Wear riggers gloves when working with lifting gear. Safeguards are often found on the machinery to protect the users and prevent injuries. What you shouldn't do. Never bypass or remove safety guards on machines or equipment. Put your hands in or near rotating equipment. What you should do. Ensure you are familiar with the operating procedure of the machine. Ensure safety guards are in place and working well. Disconnect any potential power source before performing maintenance or service work. Work-related hand injuries are one of the leading reasons workers end up in the emergency room and miss work. Proper planning, equipment and relevant skills before beginning any job are essential. Always do a last-minute risk assessment. 
Never be afraid to stop the work in unsafe situations. Remember, you see it, you own it. We all have a responsibility. Watch out for yourself and your safety buddies, so we can all get home safely.